Hello everyone, my name is Atish and I welcome you in the very second learning video on special function to be precise, Legendre's polynomial. Okay, in the last learning video we have seen one example which is very patent in the university examinations and now in today's class I am going to take another example which will be important for the further use. Okay. So, to solve that example or to prove that result, we need 2-3 results to remember. So, let me write down those results. The first result is for the generating function. What is generating function? Summation n is equal to 0 to infinity pn of x into h to the power n is equal to 1 minus 2xh plus h square power minus 1 by 2. This is the first result that you want to know. The second result is about the binomial expansion. 1 minus u or 1 plus u power minus 1 by 2. So, its expansion with the help of binomial theorem we can write 1 minus 1 by 2 u plus 1 into 3 upon 2 into 4 u square minus 1 into 3 into 5 upon 2 into 4 into 6 u cube plus and so on minus 1 to the power n 1 into 3 into 5 and so on up to 2n minus 1 all odd numbers upon 2 into 4 into 6 and so on up to 2n into u to the power n and so on. Okay, so this is the second result that we want and the third that we need for the mathematical adjustment is 1 into 2 into 3 into n minus 1 into n. This is nothing but the formula for n factorial. So, when I multiply each and every term by 2, what we get? 2 into 1, 2, 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 3, 6 and so on to n minus 1 into 2n. So, what we have done? We have multiplied this term, each and every term of the left hand side by 2. So, how many times we have multiplied? 2 to the power n and what is remaining? for the n factorial. So, these three results are important in order to solve the next problem. So, let us start with this example. So, this is the example that we are going to work out with with the help of these three results. So, for any problem we have in this uh, topic, we go for the use of generating function. So, we know that whenever we are writing, we know that ask yourself what we know we know that summation n equal to 0 to infinity pn of x into h to the power n is equal to 1 minus 2xh plus h square power minus 1 by 2 now looking at the problem what we have we have pn of or p2n of something x and here p2n or pn of 0 so, what is we have to do? In place of x, we have to put x is equal to 0. So, the moment we put x is equal to 0, we get, what we get? Summation n is equal to 0 to infinity p n of 0 into h to the power n is equal to 1, this becomes 0 plus h square power minus 1 by 2. Okay, now make use of this result 1 plus u power minus r. Okay, what is the change in place of u? We have h square. So, just looking at this result, apply the expansion. So, one can write 1 minus 1 by 2 into u. What we have? We have h square in place of u plus 1 into 3 upon 2 into 4 h square sorry u square u square means h square square so i can write h power 4 or if you want i can write h power 2 square so this is h power 4 minus 1 into 3 into 5 upon 
टू इंटू फोर इंटू सिक्स एच स्क्वायर क्यू सो दिस इज एच पावर सिक्स प्लस एंड सो ऑन द लास्ट टर्म इज माइनस वन टू द पावर एन इंटू वन इंटू थ्री इंटू फाइव एंड सो ऑन टू एन माइनस वन अपॉन टू फोर सिक्स टू इंटू फोर इंटू सिक्स अप टू टू एन इंटू एच एस स्क्वायर एच यू एन यू एन मीन्स एच एस स्क्वायर होल पावर एन सो दिस इज एच पावर टू एन एंड सो ऑन ओके नाउ वेन यू लुक एट दी जनरेटिंग फंक्शन वॉट इज पी एन एक्स एक्चुअली पी एन एक्स इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एच टू द पावर एन सो वॉट इज पी जीरो एक्स पी जीरो एक्स इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ एच टू द पावर जीरो वॉट इज पी टू एक्स पी टू एक्स इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ एच एस स्क्वायर वॉट इज पी टू एन को पी टू एन इज नथिंग बट कोफिशियंट ऑफ एच टू द पावर टू एन एंड वी वॉन्ट पी टू एन इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इफ यू एक्सपांड दिस फॉर इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स वी गेट पी जीरो एक्स पी वन एक्स पी टू एक्स पी एन एक्स पी एन प्लस वन पी एन प्लस टू एन पी टू एन पी टू एन प्लस वन एंड सो ऑन ओके सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू इक्वेट इक्वेटिंग द कोफिशियंट equating the coefficients of एच to the power टू एन एंड एच टू द पावर टू एन प्लस वन वी गेट सो वॉट वी गेट इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वॉट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ एच टू द पावर टू एन इट इज पी टू एन ऑफ जीरो एंड हियर कोफिशियंट ऑफ एच टू द पावर टू एन इज दिस माइनस वन टू द पावर एन वन इंटू थ्री इंटू फाइव सो ऑन अप टू टू एन माइनस वन अपॉन टू इंटू फोर इंटू सिक्स अप टू टू एन ओके एंड वॉट इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ पी टू एन प्लस वन पी टू एन प्लस वन इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एच टू द पावर टू एन प्लस वन इफ टू एन इज इवन वॉट इज टू एन प्लस वन दिस इज और दिस इज even okay so if 2n is even 2n plus 1 is odd and as you can see in the right hand side of this equation we have only the even powers h square h power 0 h power 4 h power 6 h power 2n so do we have a term of h power 2n plus 1 no so what is its coefficient 0 okay now we got the one result p2 n plus 1 of 0 is 0 now what we want we want to get this result so to get that result what you need to do is you just need to multiply and divide this term this term into 2 into 4 into 6 2 and minus 1 into 2 upon this is the mathematical adjustment to get the result we are doing such adjustment into 2n okay now look at here now this is minus 1 to the power n now when you multiply this what you be getting 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 1 into 2 times n minus 1 2n and what about this this is nothing but the square of this and what is this 2 into 4 into 2n 2 into 4 into 6 into 2n minus 1 into 2n is this 2 to the power n into n factorial this is for the just this term now for this term also we will be getting 2 to the power n into n factorial okay this is p to n of 0 now this can be written as p to n of 0 is equal to minus 1 to the power n and what is this 1 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 6 if it is up to n we write it as n factorial because it is up to 2n so i can certainly write 2n factorial upon what is this 2 to the power n 2 to the power n 2 to the power 2n into n factorial n factorial factorial n square and what about p 2n plus 1 we that we have already found out p 
P2n plus 1 of 0 is 0. So, you have seen with the help of these three result 1, 2 and 3 we have solved this example. Okay. And if you have any doubt in the solution of this problem, you can ask your doubts. And thank you for watching this learning video.